videos that will give you the creeps. Ooh, lock in. Lock in, man. A few months ago, a woman. Okay. A few months ago, a woman named Rosanna bought an old apartment somewhere in France and moved in with her two very young children and her 13 year old cat, Loli. But almost immediately after moving into the new place, her cat begins to act very strangely. Not this, bro. Oh, the cat, Loli. It's just a cat. It's just a cat, bro. Like, cats do this, right? They just growl. Growl. He aggressively hisses and snarls at something that Rosanna can't see. Now, Rosanna says that the cat had never done anything like this before they moved. Uh -huh. So as a single mother, Rosanna shares custody of her children with their father. So one night when the children are away at their dad's house, something happens that makes Rosanna's blood run Cold. Come on, you do realize that if all of this was really happening, yeah, like, why doesn't it happen to me? But, like, if all of this was really happening, you know how fast I'd be running out of the room and not just sitting here, you know, slowly checking everything, panning over, seeing drawers flying around the room, coming back, you know, not worried about things being thrown at her or whatever. Nah, she's just gonna take a casual stroll through her children's room and then investigate. Like all of this stuff. That, like, there, there, there could be a Bluetooth speaker underneath this desk. There could be a Bluetooth speaker. How do we know? This thing clearly, clearly turned off. Nothing's in it. So it's not that. It, it, it was, it was prepped. It was prepped for this. The batteries and all that were already taken out. Like, come on. It was 100% prepped for this. <laughs> like, I, I just can't, I can't validate anything else in this clip because that was clearly set up. It's just a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. Like, it doesn't even sound like a child saying mom or mommy, mama. It just literally sounds like it's coming through a speaker. Even though Rosanna is completely alone, she hears her young daughter's uh -huh. voice calling out to her from the children's bedroom. The voice repeats, mama, over and over. But strangest of all, the voice seems to be coming from an old radio that doesn't even have batteries inside. Oh. After this absolutely terrifying- Okay, but like whenever her- whenever her phone got up- Yeah, it, when her phone got up to the radio or whatever that is, it didn't get any louder. So it clearly wasn't coming from that. ...experience, Rosanna decides to share her story online in search of advice. She also calls for help from a local priest. The scared mother is oh, desperate okay. to try absolutely anything to get rid of the sinister entity that seems to be haunting her home. Have you tried the egg method? You put an egg in the middle of the room, and then you walk around with sage. You have to, you have to try the egg method. But nothing seems to help. In fact, it just gets much, much worse. Uh huh. Oh, there's more. Okay, bro. It's literally on a spin table. 
Look at this. It goes over and then comes back. It's literally on a spin table. Oh my god. People. We can't keep letting people farm this stuff. Yeah, go check it for wires. Oh, you're not gonna do that. So. Yeah, it's literally on a spin table. And, and and let's be for real, okay? Why is there just a mannequin head over in the corner of the room? Huh? Uh, like, what, what? Why? There's, like, no explanation. Of course, there's no video footage of her placing it there. But you know that's what happened. She put it on the, on the little spin table. And then just has it move around, like... Like, she's actually just farming these clips. Hold up, hold up. Let's see. Okay, so it was pulled. Could be just another string. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The head of a dressing mannequin that Rosanna has had for years moves on its own and seems to follow her with its eyes as she moves around the room. Rosanna feels that the apartment is no longer safe for her children and decides Aww. to stay in the home all no, alone. No, she doesn't. Eventually, no, she, she doesn't. becomes so scared that she starts to only sleep in the apartment's living room. But then, late one night, oh, Rosanna there's hears more her lowly, angrily snarling at something in the hallway Again? just outside the living room door. What happens next is downright chilling. Loli. Oh my god. And when she pans back, there's not gonna be anyone there. Oh. Wait, wait, hold on. It literally... Did she forget to expand her SFX? It just it immediately cuts off. Wait, wait, hold. There's no way you add this into a top five. The audio immediately cuts off. What? <laughs> And then pans back. What is she doing? Hiding underneath a table? After this very disturbing incident, Rosanna says that she became seriously ill and spent the rest of the night throwing up. No, she, she didn't. She says she is absolutely convinced that the old apartment she bought is haunted by a demon. For now, <laughs> she stays at a hotel with her cat until she can hopefully afford- No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She's literally doing this to farm clips. ...to move somewhere else. She's content she farming. she's currently seeking legal action against the people who sold her that apartment. Oh, right. Okay, so let's see the proof then. Let's see- let's see the documents, okay? Because there's no way she sits here takes her phone, does a little like peekaboo and it keeps getting closer without editing. And then and then the audio, the audio of something growling and then immediately cutting off because she didn't extend it out or like add add the uh the uh transition for audio to slowly fade. 
it immediately just cuts. Like, we're, I'm not dumb. The thing in the basement. A Nuke's Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, we'll call her Jane, reached out to us about a very creepy experience so she had in her family home in Norway. So while Jane is in the basement grabbing some tools for her brother, she hears something that puts her on edge. She hits record on her phone as she investigates. And what happens next I don't need is Discord mods. truly bizarre. Okay, so I'm going to go to the brother from the fix it on a bill. So... It's just an animal. Hello? And animals in your basement. Hello. What was that? It's not people in here. Take for hello. What was that? Watch the door frame. Right here. Hello. Oh, that's just a cord. Okay. Oh. Fun. Da, det er faktisk ikke artig. Hello? It's an animal. Så det er liksom... Did you see it? Jane hears several weird screeches coming from somewhere near her in the basement. And then as she leaves, the door seems to slam shut on its own. But hey, literally look as she grabbed the door handle and then as she's walking faster, she just slams it behind her. On. But did you see it? Jane looks into a mirror two times while walking through the basement. I knew it. The first it. time, there's nothing out of the ordinary. But the second time, something seems to be standing in the door. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, bro. Doorway right behind her. To this day, Jane has no idea what happened, but says that the experience gave her the creeps. Now again, Jane says she has never posted this video anywhere online and wishes to remain anonymous. So I have to leave it up to you. Do you think Jane captured hey. something paranormal? And if not, then just who or what? It looks like it literally doesn't even look like a person, but if it was, they could have just been in this room back here that she never went into and just sit here and like neighed or like did a, did something like a sheep bad bah, in the in the corner of the room you know and then they put on their halloween costume is this up in smoke it's around 11 30 at night and jocelyn is working in a smoke shop in central alabama when she hears a noise coming from the back of the store guys i'm working by my self and i hear Yo, what is this? What the f bro? Yeah, okay. So she's over here just all of a sudden recording because she heard a noise, right? And then right as she pans it over to the camera, now something wants to fall. Who says she's alone? She does. We have to trust her. Something can be seen moving around in the storage area in the back. Yeah. Yeah, After what is that? The, the video online, a raccoon? Shot viewers asked Jocelyn to check the security footage of the camera in the back. Now, whatever this is, it doesn't show up on camera. But about four hours later, in the middle of the night, when the store is closed and empty, this happens. And they get hit with an earthquake. In the morning, a ladder falls over by itself, and a pillow seems to appear out of nowhere and just drops down the stairs. 
Now, That's Jocelyn twins. says that she was so shaken up that she has no intentions of ever returning to work at the store and might actually just okay. quit her job. Yeah, but I'm is sure. Is this real paranormal activity caught on camera? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Too close for comfort. Amateur paranormal investigators Jared, his brother David, and a friend get together one night to investigate Jared's own house in Blackpool, England. You see, Jared claims that he has experienced some creepy, unexplained events in the house. So Jared's brother David is holding an SLS camera with built-in night vision when he walks through the downstairs area to see if the camera no, they're cheating. out any strange figures. But then something happens that absolutely freaks out everyone. Using the uh, night vision camera on the SLS, uh, so that's why they're still behind me, because we don't want to keep mapping them. Exactly. We want to see what we can map ourselves. Yeah, they got poles. Let's have a look around the room, Dave. We never know. We caught some orbs in here last time. Was up here. Poles yeah, with yeah. wall hacks. See some orbs there. Oh, yeah. there's a cat. It disproves everything. We know. We're back. We're stuck on two of the K2 meter. K2. Yeah, we've got Jeb Gannis doing the K2 and he's got a couple of lights on it, you know, so we yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah, well, all we can do is just keep yeah, going past them and see. Whoa! What the hell? Why? Did I just see something or did, am I imagining that? I don't know, let's go. What? What the what hell? hell? I don't know. It was, it, uh, to me, it looked like a face. Dave? Huh? I thought I, I thought I saw something. That was really quick. That was really better. spooky. As David pans around the living room, he captures what appears to be a bizarre pale face peeking out from behind oh, the door oh to my the hallway. God. What? The group looks through the house and even attempts to debunk what they just saw, but they can find no explanation as to what this is. Hmm. <laughs> Antoine's restaurant. Isabel Riley recently told a very creepy no, story not this again. online and followed it up with one of the creepiest pictures you'll ever see. I need to tell you guys about the most insane evidence that I have ever seen of a ghost existing. Backstory. I was at a company get together with my CEOs, my coworkers, and one of the owners of the company. Well, looked at us and was like, hey, do you guys want to see a ghost picture? Immediately, yes. He begins to tell us that he was in New Orleans at a restaurant called Antoine's. New Orleans, first of all, super haunted city. If you know, you know. I'm an Antoine's. Oh, no, I don't trust anyone. Restaurants in the city. I don't trust anyone that says this. City, one of the oldest restaurants, I believe, in America. It has a lot of history. It used to be a jail. It is a really well-established place has been around forever so he's dining at this restaurant and he's offered a tour of the wine cellar the wine cellar is huge has thousands of bottles of wine probably worth millions of dollars so he's taking a tour of the wine cellar he's taking pictures there's this guy in the wine cellar on a laptop who is apparently at auction buying more rare wine for the collection my CEO takes pictures of this guy on his laptop, doesn't think anything of it, he doesn't see anything, leaves the restaurant, mm. calls it a day. The next morning, he's looking through the photos and notices something. So this is the first picture that he showed me from the wine cellar. You can see this guy- We've seen this one. is on his laptop. This clip. At auction, doing whatever. And here is the next picture that he took. Yeah, Victorian girl. Um, wow. So we all see that. Oh, uh, clearly. Is a full body apparition. It looks like a woman in this like black Victorian dress. And when I was showed this, I yeah yeah had like what full body chills. No, you didn't because you knew it's not real. Okay. It's literally not real. Like, what? It looks so edited. So just who could the creepy alleged ghost woman dressed all in black in the photo be? For that, we go into the history of the restaurant. Antoine Alciatori uh -huh. opened his restaurant all the way back in 1840. 
and in 1875, Antoine passed away when he was only 55 years old. When he died, he left his wife, Julie, in charge of the restaurant. So could this be Julie's spirit still looking over the restaurant from beyond the grave? Well, let me Am I know still awake? what you think. It's only 12.30, bro. We need scary videos, so if you see something yeah, scary, you bad. it would be perfect for the top five. Send it to me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Passenger. A guy who goes by the online name Jeladu says that he takes the subway in Mexico City nearly every night. But one night, the subway train suddenly stops, and he finds himself completely alone in the train car. What happens next is truly chilling. Uh, it's just your regular subway crackhead. Like, what? Yeah, it's normal behavior. subway passenger hears bizarre sounds and terrifying screams but there's something else even creepier did you see it see In what the of the subway window someone can be seen seated next to him is that just not the seat someone with dark hair dressed all in white but when he panned his camera by the same seat just seconds before there's no one there so was he taking a ride with something supernatural? I leave that up to you to decide. Bye, Felicia. Uh, yeah, One bro. night, Felicia Hall is out on her back deck playing with her dog when things get weird. Oh no, bro. A bug, a bug flies and bites her in the neck, dude. Oh, let the dog in. And this was just a wind. They're, they're going to bring up uh, that this was like it blew and moved around. And then all of a sudden something happened. It literally, it, bro, I did not hear get out. Out of nowhere, Felicia hears something that sounds like someone whispering right in her ear. Something that says, get out. As you can tell in the video, Felicia is absolutely terrified and screams and hurries back inside. Yeah, because I bugged the dog to wonder what just happened. So did Felicia get an angry supernatural warning? You decide. Oh yes, very angry. Revenants and renovations. A man who works as a nurse at the IMSS hospital in Manzanillo, Mexico, was taking a tour of the recently renovated clinic number 10. Now the old hospital was built in 1932 and has seen its share of death and suffering for over 90 years. It so has to be honest then, right? With his phone as he walks through the renovated clinic. Okay, but answer this, right? Out of every single corridor, why does he stop at this exact one and then just sit here and record the same thing? Waiting for something to happen. I don't get it. Later, when he reviews his footage of the old hospital, he spots something that sends a chill down his... After he reviewed the footage. Yeah, 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 I know how this works. Fine. Something resembling a small pale face can be seen. Oh, um, um. Yeah, I know how this works. The corner in clinic number 10. The man is shocked. He says that he never noticed this strange face while filming. Uh -huh. Because the I wasn't there. posted his video to the internet. And many viewers believe that he might have captured the spirit of a patient who passed away at the old hospital. 
on Earth. This next creepy story People is are so gullible and actually made international news. So, TikTok user Katie Santry from Columbus, Ohio woke up one morning to find that things it's in her Ohio house already seem to have been mysteriously moved around. I think my house is haunted and I'm freaking out. Like I'm literally shaking. This is oh, my sunroom. This is where literally, I sit here. Literally shaking. There's a playroom here, doors here. This is the space. I worked in here last night until about 6.30. Everything was fine, shut my laptop. We closed these doors so the dogs don't come in here at night. No one is in this room. I'm down this morning to work. Screen shattered. This stuff, down here. This, hanging off. Here's the next bit of important information. So we're building a fence. And back here, we dug a hole. There is a rolled up carpet buried underground okay. that we came across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the f and why the f is there a rolled up carpet underground? Katie shares her strange story online and viewers suggest that there just might be With something no proof? more buried in the yard. Inside that rock. There was no proof? We're just supposed to expect her to be telling the truth? Ugh. How deep is that? Like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Oh, well, right now. At the intense urging of thousands of video commenters, Katie decides to call the police to check out the rug. Just in case. Oh, there. Yeah, I see the, it's like the tassel over there. It's yeah. like the end of the. Geez, I don't even know. Carpet. Who's to say it's not, you know, it's six feet long? Oh, 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 yeah. No, there's just something, like, weird. Now, Katie says that she thinks the rug is a bit strange, but she doesn't really think uh -huh. it's anything suspicious. That is, until Columbus detectives arrive at her house with cadaver-sniffing dogs. Well, yeah, you know, like, you, you, the first thing you would think of when you see carpet buried is that someone was rolled up in carpet and buried a long time ago, right? They're probably going to find bones. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense. My God. Two cadaver dogs both signal and sit on the area where the rug was found, indicating that the dogs believe that there is a body there. And yeah. This is when Katie's casual story about a paranormal haunting in a buried rug starts to get a bit out of control. In fact, Katie's story becomes international news. In a series of videos garnering millions of views, Katie Santry shared she may have discovered a body Watch buried it be her in husband. a rug in her yard. The entire thing blew up on TikTok this week. The investigation stemming from social media police in Columbus saw a woman's TikTok showing she and her husband found this rug buried in her yard. She reached out to police. Well, police showed up with cadaver Can't dogs. be her husband. Never Even mind. After the first dog sat, I really didn't think... The second dog was gonna do it too. I thought maybe it was just an accident. And when the second dog did it too, uh, I, I freaked out. I think it is absolutely crazy for something to happen like in our area like this. Understandably, Katie is probably a long time ago. As a homicide team arrives at her property to dig. This is crazy. Okay. It might not mean anything yet. Okay. Wait and see what the interpretation of the results are. Okay. Yeah. Oh so homicide is here and missing persons and now CSI is bringing the shovels out. Yeah, they have to. And I can see a news camera set up over there. Okay, they're digging. They've been digging. And there's six of them. Some of them are in the hole. Katie's viewers watch and wait for hours as the homicide team carefully digs out and examines pieces of the stained carpet. You guys, they have recovered the hole, and this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my Not life. Not haunted, but yeah, pretty crazy. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. 
both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? You did. So Katie is happy with the news that the Columbus homicide team has not found anything suspicious buried with the rug. But viewers that followed Katie's story and even some news reporters are just not completely convinced. Okay, so the update is they took the rug. Okay. Police did. They did not find a body huh. yet. Yeah, what do you mean yet? Because the dog's marked on the rug, so there has to have been a body at some point. I don't believe for a second they didn't find anything in that rug. Oh my God, uh, here's the cover-up story. I think she was posting too much about it, so they decided not to tell her what they found. Oh or my God. because they took it away for forensics, it was a mer on the rug, no body. I don't believe- It's a cover-up. It's always a cover-up story. For a second, there was nothing on that rug. So even though police say the rug was fine, there's still some skepticism and some outright conspiracy theories about uh -huh. that rug. Oh God. But no, no. what do you think? It's just a rug. Well, Maddie Magarachi says that his house in Monroe Township, ah! New Jersey is very haunted. In fact, Maddie has been posting about the strange activity in his home for over four years. One night, Maddie is home alone with his dogs when strange things start to happen. What's going on? Now, my dog just stares off in the space all the time. Maddie's parents are away on vacation, leaving him all alone in the house. And so leaving him to get his friends to create some content. I like where this guy's head is at, man. I like it. Something else happens that makes his blood run cold. Midday? What? is that what the f was that what so these are just what what was it what, the f what is, is that? that what the f was that so these are just a couple of the many videos that Maddie has shared online over the last four years. So could it be that Maddie's house is actually yeah, I remember you. What something? what is this? What am I looking at? Thing, or is it all? What what is that? It literally looks like a, a snake head. What is this? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. What is that? What is it? Oh, that's it? What what are we looking at? Oh and god, it's the fakest anyone has ever seen. What is this? Uh 20 26 minutes in? 25, something like that? Where Where is it? Uh? Uh, yeah, there's no such thing as ghost, and this is not proving me wrong. No, oh, why is no one asking what that is? What is this? Anyone to anyone, tell me what that is. Please let me know down below.